Today we're talking about the overall home buying process in the state of Rhode Island. So first and foremost, before any buyer is interested in getting out there and purchasing a home, you really need to get pre-approved by a loan officer. This is making certain that someone is looking at all of your financial criteria and identifying how much you can actually afford to buy. Next, you should get in touch with a realtor who can show you a list of the inventory that's available. I know there's lots of websites out there that you can look at, but believe it or not, a lot of that data is stale. A realtor is going to know more about the individual industry, the neighborhoods, and be able to get you in touch with the houses of interest. Once you find your dream home, you'll be ready to put in an offer. You'll need to have an earnest money deposit check available, and the realtor can assist you with drafting the purchase and sales agreement. Now. These next three steps are critical. Hire an attorney. It is within your rights to have an attorney review the purchase and sales agreement with you. And more importantly, you will want them available to conduct the title and the closing for you. So there's really no reason to waiting until the last minute to hire a lawyer. Next, you're going to want to hire a home inspector. Rhode Island state law allows for 10 days for a buyer to examine a property and be aware of any and all defects that the house may have. All houses have defects. This is just the way it is. But you wanna make certain that it's all stuff that you can live with and that there's no surprises that you can't live with. Assuming though that you have found a house with defects that you can live with, your realtor and or attorney can help negotiate with repair addendums, any and all credits and repairs that the seller needs to conduct as part of the closing. The last step that you need to do is officially apply for your loan application. This will be sitting down with your loan officer after you've identified this dream property and making certain that they have all the financial data that they need from you in order to qualify you for the loan with the underwriters. So submitting all of your final paperwork and being in constant communication with the loan officer is going to be paramount. That loan officer is also going to be getting ready to submit for an appraisal request. An appraisal is going to determine the value so that the bank knows that the property supports the loan that you're borrowing. Additionally, you will want to start shopping for homeowner's insurance. Homeowner's insurance premiums and policies can be very different, and you have time to purchase it, but you can't wait until the last minute. So doing this shortly after you've submitted your offer and gotten through your repairs is of critical importance. Generally speaking, you wanna stay in constant communication with your lender. Your lender is going to be orchestrating with all the moving pieces on the back end of the transaction, such as making certain the appraised value has come back, making certain that the title has come back and is free and clear, and making certain that all of your underwriting conditions are free and clear. Once the lender has a clear to close, they will let the closing attorney know, and generally we will be able to schedule the closing 24 to 72 hours after that time. During that time, you will receive the final accounting of the transaction from your attorney's office, and it will identify how much is due from you as far as proceeds. The proceeds will be the balance of the sales price, net of any loans, and closing costs that you're responsible to cover. Generally speaking, you will need to arrange for a certified check or a wire transfer for these funds. At the time of the closing, all of the parties are going to assemble. Typically, the buyer and sellers and their respective agents will be there, and sometimes the lender. The buyer will review with the attorney the closing disclosure, which is the final accounting that was prepared by the lender, as well as a host of other loan documents, including the promissory note and the mortgage. After the closing is completed, the closing attorney will go to the town hall, update the title, and record the transaction. This is it. That's when it's official. You're now a homeowner. Rhode Island is a race state. Until it's on record, it's not quite done.